Hi everyone, thanks for stopping back by today to see what I am up to. And today I have a subscription called Julie Box. And this is um, several months combined. Um, real fast, in case you are interested, um, Julie Box is a monthly subscription service. The jewelry subscription box where you keep it all. Um, I do believe you can choose between gold and silver. The gold is 14 karat gold plated, nickel free. And the silver is imitation rhodium plated, nickel free. It's $19.99 a month for one piece of jewelry and $29.99 quarterly for three pieces of jewelry, obviously, because you're going to get one each month. Um, so basically, let me give you a little backstory before I, I have three. I have these two boxes and then I have this little pink mailer here. So I had seen in, I believe it was end of March, towards the end of March, a video about Julie Box that they were offering your first box for free. You paid the shipping, which I think was $3.49 or something to that liking. And you paid the shipping and you got the first product for free to subscribe to, to their box. And it was to be a necklace. So I thought, okay, I was looking for another um, jewelry subscription, but I didn't want one that gave me three more pieces each month or four pieces each month. It just, I don't want to be overwhelmed with jewelry. So I figured this is perfect. I'll get one piece each month. Um, I went on their website. It's supposed to be like a cohesive set after your three months where you'll get a necklace a bracelet and earrings and so forth so that you're not always getting all earrings all bracelets all necklaces so i had verified that with you know by email and the owner katie you know got back to me that yes it's a cohesive set everything while they are not 100 percent matching they would all go together it would be a necklace a bracelet and earrings so i said wonderful i verified that i was getting silver and she confirmed and i said okay no problem so I'm waiting and waiting, and I got this box here, this very first box, April, and I have it written on the label so I could tell you, April 23rd. I will um, put on the screen when I subscribe, because I have that written down somewhere else. So I was excited, so I opened the first box, and this is, you know, what the box look like, looks like when you open it. And you get a card. It says, Welcome to Julie Box. And I guess Charleston is the collection. And the back of the card has a bracelet on it. So I'm confused. I thought my first one was supposed to be a necklace, according to their website and their email from the owner of their company. So I, I'm trying to think what this card is. You know, just like a little care card for your jewelry. So this is how it came in this little thing here, this little bag. And this is the bracelet. Came in a, another, you know, plastic bag style. And I'll open it and show you. And then this is... I'm trying to hold this up right. So this is what the bracelet looks like. So this is the shape of it, and this is what it looks like. Cute! There's... um just trying to think if they're on the other side. Yeah, so you could, you know, put that together so that it fits your, you know, fits your wrist and so forth. I can't, I'm not even going to play with putting it on. So I get this and I'm thinking, well, okay, because in the meantime, I was billed for, I had paid for the free box, just paid the shipping to get the necklace. So I was billed for this box. So I'm thinking, okay, this is the bracelet for April, March. I, I still haven't received yet. So I'm thinking, okay, great. This is for April the bracelet so i was like okay no problem so i opened you know left it there i was going to do a video but i was waiting for the necklace to come so the next day the the very next day april 24th i received this box so i said wonderful the necklace is here so i opened this box right away because i wanted to verify and i had been filming right around that time so i said this is perfect so then I get the card and I'm thinking, okay, it's still, you know, the Charleston collection. So I'm going to get the cohesive set. And I look at the back of the card and it's the same bracelet, you know, care card. So here, you know, same bag, 
And this one I'm not going to take out of the bag. So it's the same exact bracelet. So now I'm emailing Julie Box. Like, what's going on? I received two boxes right here with the same exact item in it. I thought my first one is supposed to be a necklace, the second one a bracelet, third one earrings, or whatever order they're shipping them, but I'm supposed to have a cohesive set. So Katie, who is the owner, CEO, all that good stuff, she got back to me and she said that they were out of the, you know, promotional, if that's what you want to call it, necklace that they were offering to join Julie Box in March. And can could she substitute? And she, I think the link she sent me was to two different necklaces or to another necklace. I clicked on it. It was a beautiful necklace. I said, of course you can substitute. Uh, like, it doesn't matter. And I wouldn't think it would matter to 99.9% .9 if you ran out of a necklace that you were offering as your promo to get people to subscribe to your subscription each month, and you know, you had X amount and a lot of people subscribed and you ran out, quick shoot an email or send the substitution with a little note that, you know, we ran out of necla the necklace that we were using in March as our promotion to have you join the, the subscription and we had to substitute with this necklace. I, I mean, if you get upset about that, then that's your issue, not theirs. A substitution was perfectly fine. Emailed her right back and said, absolutely, substitute. It doesn't matter to me. As long as it's silver, I'm fine with it. She said, no problem. She would get it right out to me the next day. Um, weeks go by. Weeks. I get nothing. I hear nothing. So I email them again, and I'm like, what's the holdup on the necklace? Because now we're into May, because now I've been, I paid my free, sh my shipping for my free necklace from March. I received the April bracelet. Well, now I'm being charged for May. I still don't have the necklace for March and I'm being charged for May. So now that's when the emails start going back to Julie Box. Like, what's going on? Where's my necklace? All this back and forth, back and forth. And they don't respond. I think one email went and I used the contact us on their website it was a week, two weeks before I'm hearing anything. And yes, it was in the midst of all the virus stuff and, and shutdowns. And she's, she emailed the emails me that she's, you know, doing manning the, the company by herself, which I'm sure she mans the company by herself all the time anyway. And so forth. So I said, okay, no problem. So she, basically was like, oh, you know, sorry for the misunderstanding, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I said, well, you know, communication is key when you have a business with cust with your customers. So all you have to do is let people know that, you know, you're running behind, you're doing this, you know, by yourself at this time. I'm very understanding. It's not a big deal. She did take ownership for the miscommunication. I'll get the necklace right out to you. Well, it is the end of June. Never received the necklace, but I did receive this and this is supposed to be I would assume May I don't know if I wrote down when I received this I did not write the date on this when I received this so I opened this thinking well maybe this is the, the necklace or maybe the earrings that I'm supposed to get for you know for May so not the box like I received prior so now I'm getting a bag with the, the J on it the sticker really so I said, okay, i like, to me, that doesn't matter. So I get, um, you know, the care card. I think she um, was a little brazen by putting a card in there that I guess she's a, uh, a representative for pharmacy, you know, with her little card. I think that's a little brazen to put in there considering uh, I'm a customer that's not happy. So then this is the card that, is in this box that this month is yet again a bracelet where's the cohesive set i'm very confused so i opened the bracelet came in this cute pink bag and the jewelry is very cute there's no doubt in my mind came in this bag and then yet there's another bag so then there's another bag right here i said okay now i have Two bracelets that are identical, and I'm not a bangle, but it's not a big deal, bangle person. So then I open this necklace here, 
and this, I don't know if I can position this just right, but this has love on it. One side is silver and the other has the gems. Okay. So this is adjustable, as you can see by the little ball, and I'm going to do my, and it is um, here at the very end, it's completely together. There's no like two pieces or whatever. So I'm going to take it to the very end, as you can see there, you can't move it any further. I do not have a big hand or a large wrist. I tr Let me take this ring off. I tried and tried, and of course, you know, here I'm putting it on. I don't even want to take it any further. I mean, I probably could get it on, but I don't want to run the risk of breaking it. It's adorable. It would, this would fit a child, not an adult. I, like I said, I do not have a big hand at all. I don't have a big wrist, six something or whatever. I'm trying to think if this is going to lay flat. I mean, this is gorgeous, but I don't know who it would fit. One, if your hand is any larger than mine, you're not getting it on. And if you get it on, you run the risk of breaking it. So I wasn't happy. I said, okay, so now I have three bracelets. So once again, I'm shooting off an email to Jewelry Box. Like, what's going on? Where is the original, from March, the original necklace? Just send me the necklace. I don't even care that I didn't get a pair of earrings. Maybe when I joined in March, it was January, February, and March was a complete set, and it would be April, May, and June would be a complete set. But I know that not to be true because here's an April box that's a bracelet. Here's a May bag that's a bracelet. So right there, they're not cohesive. So I'm annoyed. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. And finally, I said, look, I'm holding these to film a video for YouTube and there's no way possible that I can say to all of you that this is a wonderful service to get. The jewelry pieces are nice. Are they worth $20? Probably not, but they're nice. They're, you know, they're still, they're not high-end jewelry. They're not, they're plated, they're plated. It's not like it's 14 karat gold and sterling silver, which for $19.99, I would be happy with that, but they're plated, 14 karat gold plated and rhodium plated. Um, but as an owner of a business, it's basically like her emails, and I'm not going to share her emails because they're between her and I, and I don't think that's right to ever do. She does not know how to run a business. So Katie has a lot to learn, and I don't know if this has happened to anybody else, but basically she said to me in an email, well, you received March and April. No, I received two April. Same identical bracelets. I didn't never receive the necklace. So I basically told her, refer back to previous emails and previous conversations that we had. You've promised to send me the necklace. So I wouldn't even care if this wasn't earrings at this point. If Whatever. I got my, get all my pieces. I, I, I'm done. So I waited until I received this because I knew this was getting ready to ship. And I canceled prior to, I think June 10th was the, the next billing day for the June whatever, probably another bracelet. Um, I'm not, I don't want another bracelet and I don't, I'm not paying $20, I think plus some tax or what, it was more than $20. I don't want anything to do with your company if this is how you treat your customers. Now it might just be me that's being treated this way, kind of doubt it. Um, like, I would almost be happier if all three of these were earrings that I would wear. I don't wear bracelets that often. I have now two identical bracelets, which, number one, I'm going to be including in a giveaway. Uh, probably in, maybe, either maybe in the June box or I'll put these in the July giveaway because, you know, I'm not interested in them. And this, I don't know what I'm going to do with. It's very small. Um, it is cute, but um, I don't know. Honestly, don't know. So I canceled. I will not recommend this company, which is Jolie Box, to anyone. I feel that um, her offering a promo necklace for free, you pay the shipping, you're going to get this neck necklace, is bait and switch. Uh, that's a little bit, you know, 
exactly what it is. You know, join the service, join this subscription. You're going to get a free necklace. Just pay the three dollars and forty nine cent shipping, and I'll send you the necklace, and then you subscribe to to the service, which I was more than happy to do. But don't do a bait and switch. Don't never send the necklace. Like here's three shipments, and I still do not have a necklace. I have three bracelets. So I went on to Instagram under one of the posts from her. And I said, when am I going to receive? And there were other people that were posting the same thing. So other people were having the same problem with her and her company. When am I going to receive my promo necklace from March that I paid for and I never received? Now I'm blocked on Instagram. I can't post on her comments. Well, I don't care. I'm no longer following her on Instagram. And like I said, I was debating whether I was making this video or not, and I was not going to give her two seconds of my time on my YouTube channel, but I, in good faith, cannot do that to all of you. I don't want any of you to join this, this company. Let me get this box because it's one's clear. Jewelry box. Do not join at your own risk because as far as I'm concerned, like I said, bait and switch and her sending me an email telling me that pieces are cohesive you receive a bracelet a necklace and earrings and that's how it works it even says it on their website that that's a little bit of fraud you know lying to her customers definitely did a bait and switch in in march with getting people to to, to join her company and i would tend to think she probably had a lot of people cancel so um that's the only reason i'm doing this video and i never ever ever do a video that is negative we're telling you not to join a subscription box just because I just wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't show you any of this if I was unhappy with something or if I had a like a mediocre experience with them. I might just give you a heads up like, oh, you know, be careful. But I would honestly tell you, do not buy from this company. Don't buy individual pieces. She sends out posts all the time. I still get emails, you know, buy this shop in our store. Are you kidding me? Um, I gave her, I, I did a con through their contact section of their, um, website. I gave her one final opportunity and this was probably now a good two weeks to send me the necklace, make it right. And we're done. And my video might have been a little different tone. I still would have advised you not to join Julie box. And, um, if you want to join Julie box, do it at your own risk, but I know I'm not the only one that's going through this because I have seen other posts on her, on Instagram where she has blocked people. And if she does not think, and this is Katie, the owner, if she does not think that we communicate as subscribers, you know, she's delusional because we do communicate and the same problem that I'm having, many others are having. So buyer beware here. Do not, that's my advice, do not. So that is the jewelry box that will no longer be on this channel. And these two bracelets that are identical have not been on my wrist. So I'm going to include them in a giveaway. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might keep this and give it to somebody that I know that has a little smaller hand. That's like a young child that would love to wear something like that. So that's it for today. Like I said, buyer beware. And I hope everyone is doing well. And I promise you, you will never see another negative video like this. And this breaks my heart to have to do this out of 480 some videos. This is the one and only. And like I said, hopefully never, ever again. So I hope to see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye now.